is a bantamweight matchup between Al Jermaine Sterling and Cody Garbrandt. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Garbrandt is 29, Sterling is 31. He will have a six inch reach advantage. All right, now to get us started, we go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, the referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. <laughs> UFC Bantamweight Division. It's reducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter holding a professional record of 12 wins, 3 losses. He stands 5 feet 8 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Sacramento, California, Cody No Longo and now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 19 wins, 3 losses. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds, fighting out of Uniondale, New York, Al Jermaine Punkmaster Sterling. Okay, protect yourself at all time, will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to play. You ready? You ready? All right, let's get this one started here. Round one is underway. We've got a struggle who is a force to be reckoned with. Tonight, though, he draws a guy who can do a little bit of everything. And that guy is usually the one that will have the advantage. But we know what a high-level striker is. And this guy is as high-level as we've ever seen in the U.S. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the top. Beautiful punch. Nice one, two there. Takedown defense holds up. Right hand punch in the clinch. Oh. <laughs> so a combination of elbows now to the head. Good clinch work here by Cody Garbrandt. <laughs> Trying to go to the body here. Unable to find the target. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for Cody Garber. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, and there's the double leg. One takedown is easy to defend. When you start stringing them together is when guys struggle. Back to the stand-up now, both fighters upright. Ooh, now he's got the tie plum, Daniel. If you're on the other side, what are you trying to do to get out of this potentially dangerous position? You gotta start digging your shoulder to the side and try to shove it under. Right up the gut, DC, he's in a world of trouble now. They say the straight moves are the ones that get there first, and it got right to the target. Well, not much of a setup there. Misses with the left hook. Nice. Yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves it. Oh! 
All right, he's got the full mount now. Is this one of the most dominant positions in MMA? Is that fair to say? It's a very dominant position. It's one of the most ideal positions you should get to, especially if you are fighting someone that doesn't truly understand that they're not in as much danger as they are. Because it's dangerous, but there are a lot of outs. And if a person isn't very understanding of that, then you can really, really put some damage on them. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be good night, Irene. All right, here we go with round two, Aljamain Ready? Sterling Ready? and Cody No Love Barber. It's a big hook. Oh! Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize he was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. All right, so 43 total strikes have landed for Cody Garbrandt. Well, still connecting on about four of every 10 attacks. Oh. Misses again with a right punch. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him... That is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got it very fast. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Ooh, what a punch. Just out of range with that left hook. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Beautiful hit, kick. Well, as my favorite rap group Onyx would say, stick and move. Like a beautiful slip off the center line there. Yeah, what a great job of moving his head. It doesn't take much to avoid a punch. Immediately gets the underhook. Boy, Ty Clark. What a beautiful uppercut. It landed beautifully. Perfect placement on that shot. Serve him up. Go get him. Now he's on top of him looking for the finish. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Now he's attacking the triangle. Triangle looks pretty tight, DC. I'm no Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt, but maybe not good here. No, it looks like it's getting in deep. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. So the fighter was really caught in the submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're going to fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. All right, let's check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. And what a display on the feet. Huge knockdown with that kick. Yeah, he's a high-level striker. He throws these kicks to the body. He throws them low, but when he goes up top, He's very powerful, and he can end anybody's night. The toughness displayed by his opponent allowed him to stay in the fight, but he cannot take many more of those types of strikes. You ready? You ready? Third round underway. Gets 
caught with that punch. Let's move that head now. Garbrandt's kick is blocked. Well, not only is he slow, he's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Sterling gets up again. He looks Oh! Oh, he got hurt bad! Oh! Oh! Jeez Louise! Watching this one back, let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. We go inside the octagon where Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest. At one minute, 25 seconds of the third round, declaring the winner by knockout, Cody Nolan. All right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And got to be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes down exactly the way you drew it up. A lot of people talk about doing certain things. It's harder to deliver on those promises you make to the public. Tonight, he did exactly that. Congratulations. The hood's still dangerous, goodness, gracious, move like the Gracie bubble. You'll pay me something. Fed 